assalamu alaikum doctor in this video i am discussing how can you take an aphylaxis history so it can be chief complaints like sudden onset of shortness of breath or uh, it can come in the exam like very short task take history from the mother of a seven year old child who was admitted to the hospital yesterday due to shortness of breath acute and chronic kind of scenario child has anaphylaxis with facial swelling and rash from peanuts in her friend birthday party child was admitted to hospital and given adrenaline child has history of asthma and eczema on steroid inhaler for asthma and steroid cream with emollient for eczema positive family history of asthma and eczema history so this is the anaphylaxis history task how can we do that first of all history of present illness complaint analysis and the systemic review so what is the main complaint dyspnea and shortness of breath are they occurring together or one by one onset course in duration what make it what worse and what make it better for each concern then cough if cough problem chesty or not anything happened before in this scenario he was in birthday party and eat cake then suddenly this happened what about his color at the time any chest pain any nasal discharge allergic rhinitis or snoring sound is it the first time or recurrent what did you do for that is it associated with any abnormal sound of breathing and fainting any preceding illness any recent contact to covid patients okay so again the chief complaint analysis main complaints is dyspnea or shortness of breath are they occurring together or one by one onset course and duration what make it worse and what make it better for each concern cough is chesty or not anything happened before in this scenario he was in the birthday party and eat cake then suddenly this happened what about his color at that time any chest pain any nasal discharge allergic rhinitis or snoring sound is it the first time or recurrent what did you do for that is it associated with any abnormal sound or breathing fainting any preceding illness any recent contact to covid patient now general fever weight changes level of activity sleep swollen neck and glands did he look uh, did he look like you and his daddy any other concerns any chronic illness or long term medical conditions so any chronic condition he may be asthma patient eczema patients these are we can find then systemic review one by one from git like describe for me his poo tummy pain increased tummy size and throwing up any loose motions yellowish discoloration of eyes cns about any morning headache morning throwing up any unusual movement any fits any concern regarding vision and or hearing any redness of the eyes any facial deviation unusual pattern of gait change in his mood unusual behaviors cvs on any awareness of heart beats previous fainting attacks exercise intolerance and blood pressure hematology pallor bleeding bruises and recurrent illness urinary pee color amount frequency pain and frothing endocrine is heat intolerance any cons- anyone measure his blood sugar am i skin skin any skin spots and its description scratch marks swelling in the lips and tongue puffiness in the eye bone pain pain swelling neck lump and nail and hair past history 5t ioa in details like treatment admissions transfusions travel and team nutrition history like describe for me his diet and feeding any special food or formula he is taken in the form of what who prepares meals for him are you following with a dietitian what about his weight and height and his growth chart available so nutrition very much describe for me diet or feeding any special formula fit anything he is avoiding any uh, these are we are asking vaccination did he miss any shots any extra shots annual shots development what about his way in walking and talking does he look like his peers allergy history is very very brief and important first of all allergy to any food ask about each in details like what did you notice that when did you notice that what did and when he ate it what did you do at the time who diagnosed him any test done for him was he admitted to hospital because of his allergy how many times how did they treat him at that time then do you have epipen so first allergy then do you have epipen how many do you know how to use it where did you got your information about its use when and how who gives it to him in the other caregivers and school knows about his conditions and how to manage him do you have an emergency plan and open access card for him is he wearing a bracelet any other allergies like atopic march allergic rhinitis rhinoconjunctivitis atopic eczema bronchial asthma or allergy to drugs family history about the consanguinity family history of similar condition family history of atopic diseases or asthma did the parents receive covid vaccines other siblings whom about describe your home any pets or birds at home any garden any construction around aeration any home modification school type of the school school performance in his uh, condition affect his school attendance is the school knows about his condition did they have epipen for him and know how to deal with his condition any modification at the school so every normal question and we had here that um, 
that school knows about his conditions did they have a pen for him and know how to deal with this condition social psychological and impact what did you do for a living is it satisfying for you and your family do you have any social or financial support do you need and do you have health insurance do you have easy access in case of emergency impact on the child and the family so this is how can we take the nfi lexis history thank you